welcome to Verbling. Come on in, join the class here at Verbling. We will be discussing extreme weather. Ooh, scary. Come on in, folks. Join me, and we'll start the class. Hadi, I see your messaging. If you can hear me, come on in. Okay. Got some people joining me now. Very good. Welcome, Sebastian. Welcome, my friend. How Hi. are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm, I'm great. But, <laughs> but? So, I'm, 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 I'm glad to hear you. I can, I can hear you okay. Yes. Okay, let me, let me say hi to Facundo. Are you there? Hi, Facundo. Yes, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? Nice to have you back. Good to see you again. Okay. Uh, today's topic is extreme weather. Uh, as you may or may not know, the northeast part of the United States uh, has is recovering from a very big blizzard. A, yeah. A, yeah, a blizzard is a giant snowstorm. And uh, people are having to dig out from a lot of snow. Um, very bad situation there, a lot of traffic accidents. So we're going to be using our own personal experience to talk about extreme weather and practice a little bit of speaking. Um, in the United States, talking about the weather, super common, very common. Uh, of course, the weather changes a lot in any part of the United States at any given time. There's uh, some kind of extreme weather going on a, a lot of the time, and people really like to talk about it. So uh, this is a good thing to practice. Frankly, this is... This is good if you're going to take an English speaking test. This, this is something you could use. If your uh, job interview, if you plan to travel to an English speaking country. Um, hey, we all like to talk about the weather, so this will be good practice for everyone. Well, okay. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Let's, let's jump right in. I'm going to ask you, have you ever experienced extreme weather conditions. Sebastian, since you were first in, you can Where? be first. Hey. Where? Wait, first of all, I am, I am, I am from Colombia. And, okay. and here we have, we are, we have a, um, a, a bad, a bad uh, weather. Because sometimes it's, it's hot, and other tiny it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now, now we are we are uh, we have a uh, um a cold weather and nowadays we have um um it has been rainy rain yeah rain yes yeah all right. So yes, because I I, I have never been in a strange weather. No. Well, you say it rains a lot. Do yes. you Do you have floods? Yes. Floods. That's when well, the rivers overflow. Water in the streets. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's down near city. In the city, really? Yes, it's down, some near city to here. Yes. Okay. Where do you live? Do you live in the mountains or near the ocean? No, I am living. I live near to the, to the mountain ridge. Yes. Okay, mountain ridge. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, I live uh, in a. In a city called Bucaramanga. Okay. Um, almost um, 
seven hours by car to the capital city, Bogota, Colombia. Yeah. Ah, okay. I see. One, uh, one thing, Sebastian. Do not, <laughs> do not <laughs> say a bad weather. Okay? We can't uh, say we have a bad weather. And here's why we cannot say that. Because the word weather is what we call an uncountable noun. I can't uh, count weather. I can't say there are two weathers. <laughs> I can't say that, all right? So I'm never going to use the article a or an with an uncountable noun, such as weather. Same the thing. Weather. Right. The weather. It, yeah, I, right. You, just say we have bad weather sometimes, okay? Uh, all right. Okay. You know, I need to have a class on uncountable nouns. It's a very, very confusing thing. Yeah, I, um, um, I'm, now I'm studying English, and I have been, uh, seen some, some topics about that. Yeah, um, okay. For example, for example when, we, when, we, when we want to talk about motion race, we have to use uh, the. Hmm. Yeah? Uh, the yeah. Day. Well, we can count mountain ranges. There the are... Yes. There are two mountain ranges in Colombia, for example. I can count them, and I can use yes. the plural. Ranges with an S. But with weather, I can't use weathers. It's not there possible. It's only, yeah. it's only one weather, yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on and talk to somebody else. Facundo, hello again. Yes. Hi, how, how are you? Uh, I'm still good. <laughs> so, Great. Facundo, have you ever experienced extreme weather or extreme yes, weather one. conditions? Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I'm uh, sorry. Before you begin, notice, uh, Sebastian, notice I can, uh, if, if I want to make weather plural and count it, I can change the form. I can say extreme weather conditions. I experienced a extreme weather, or actually N, I'm sorry, <laughs> bad teacher, right. N extreme yeah. weather condition. Okay, I've experienced three extreme weather conditions in my lifetime. Notice that I can change the, my sentence structure and make it countable. Okay, I'm sorry, Fecundo, but I thought that was a valuable uh, lesson. This is okay, no problem. Okay, now tell me about when you experienced extreme weather. Um, well, I um, I live in a small town, and mm -hmm. we have another another small town in twenty kilometer kilometers, and with a friend, we go there. We go there, riding bike. Okay. When we when we are coming back, a strong, a strong, really strong rain started. Uh -huh. The one it was so strong I can rain. <laughs> so uh -huh. we wow. yes we use a a tree like a shelter. Ah, good. And <laughs> yes, and after. A couple in, in a car on a car uh, park beside a uh, park next to us and we we got in, in the car and I lost my glass glasses uh, the object, glasses yes I lost my glasses and I realized that after the rain stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you incurred financial damages. You had to buy new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, after I, 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 found, I, found, I found them. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, the, uh, we have an expression, an idiom or expression, all's well that ends well. Okay. Glad to hear that. Okay, I'm going to talk to Hirono. Are you there? Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. 
Uh, should I call you Hirono or Tani? Uh, you can call me Hiro or Hirono. Ah, okay, Hiro. <laughs> Oh, nice you, to meet you. I'm going to guess you're from Japan. Yes, I'm from Japan and Japan, Tokyo, and I I experienced um, so-called typhoon. Ah, you know, okay. Ty ty hmm? Is it right? Yes. Typhoon. Mm -hmm. In several times in the year, so. Um, I don't know, it's similar to storm. Cool, oh, it's very similar. Storm. It's a very large storm. Yeah, and sometimes um, when typhoons happen, um, many companies and schools uh, doesn't work anymore. So sometimes it's, sometimes we can um, we could have a list for it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> are you are you saying that typhoons are a good thing? Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it could be good. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, here, I'll, let me give you a mm. little bit of feedback. You should say when typhoons happen. Yes. Okay, because your noun has an S. All right, yes. when a typhoon happens, <laughs> now the S is on the verb, or when typhoons happen, the S is on the noun, right? Okay. But ne never both, okay? Never both. Right, subject, okay. that's called subject-verb agreement. The subject is the person or thing that does something, and the verb is the action. Only one will have the S, always, okay? Subject-verb Agreement. Agreement. Okay. Mm hmm. That's what we call it. Okay. You can say uh, that businesses and schools don't open. Don't open. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, and uh, Hiro, I, hi. It's very nice to have you in the class. Welcome. I have taught many Japanese students Are before. You? Yes, really, because I am an American, but I am now living in the Philippines. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, well, we also have typhoons, obviously. Oh. <laughs> so I, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, I was working in an academy here where the students were mostly mm -hmm. Korean and Japanese. Yeah, really? so. Yeah, so. I never know that. Uh, well, no, I, I don't think anybody knows it. I'm oh. just sharing a little my own personal experience. Oh, okay. I, I have one question for you, though. Yes. I'm looking at your picture. Yes. And, and it looks like you're worshipping beer. Yeah. Uh, oh, the great, my... <laughs> wonderful beer. This is my I beer. love beer. <laughs> I love beer. Of course, I'm drinking beer every night. <laughs> this is my right? favorite one. I mean, yeah. really, everyone, look at her picture. It looks like, oh, my... <laughs> my, my beer is my boyfriend. Yeah. Oh. It's very <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I have a crazy sense of humor. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I like it. <laughs> oh, I do. I love it actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. I'm gonna move on and and talk to Shreko. Is is that right? Shreko, Christian. What what should I call you? Oh, I don't think your microphone is working. Oh, I'm sorry. We're co uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, he sh he shrugged his shoulders. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, too bad. Okay. Well, we have another student in the class, so uh, I'll scoot over here and I'll talk to Hadi. Hadi. Hadi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Super. Terrific. Hadi, have you ever experienced extreme weather? Extreme weather conditions? Actually, here in my country, our weather is, is stable. We have um, 
almost only summer and winter. We don't have experience any spring or any things like uh, Europe and United States. Mm -hmm. Wh where are you? Yeah. I'm sorry to okay. interrupt. Where are you from, Hadi? I'm from Canada. I know. I think you know this country. Am I right? Say again. I, I just did not hear you. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Of course, I've heard of Saudi Arabia. Kingdom. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Now, uh, pardon my pardon my ignorance. Now, you're telling me the weather is fairly stable there, I, which is a good way to say that, by the way. Nice phrasing. Uh, do you ever have uh, like sandstorms or windstorms, anything like that? You have extreme heat, don't you? Hadi? Yes. Don't you have don't you Actually, have very, I very good I Actually, I don't understand your questions. Uh, sorry for that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll come back to you. We're going to basically stay on the same topic. Um, for those of you who just joined, Shreko, I'm going to come back to you, buddy, now that you've fixed your microphone. Uh, for those of you who have just joined, our topic today is extreme weather. We're talking about our own personal experiences when we have experienced, for example, floods or snowstorms, blizzards, extremely high temperatures, very, very hot, or extremely low temperatures, very, very cold, uh, anything like that. Um, uh, one of the students brought up typhoons, heavy rain, things like that. Uh, and uh, or or Aurelio asked me where I am from. Originally, I'm from a state called Vermont in the United States. It's in the Northeast, which now has a lot of snow, which is why I'm I chose this topic to speak about today. The Northeast of the United States had a big, big blizzard yesterday. Blizzard. Blizzard, yeah. Blizzard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, let me write that for you. A blizzard is a snowstorm, but it has a lot of wind, high winds. I, I can't remember the speed. It has to be a certain speed. I, I don't remember. I, I don't know, but a high wind snowstorm. It causes a lot of what we call, <clears throat> excuse me, white outs. When the snow blows and you can't see anything, that's called a white out. So it's very dangerous, of course, for drivers and so mm -hmm. on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go on and talk to another student. I'm going to talk to Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Jonathan. <laughs> are you there? Maybe not. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let's try another student, and I, I will try this. Uh, Ron, Ron G, are you there? Wow, what is that sound? Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How about you? I'm okay. Am I saying your name correctly? Wrong. Uh -huh, yes. I am. It's a miracle. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh, is this a self-portrait in your picture? Yes. yes, it's mine. Is it a self-portrait, meaning did you draw yourself? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. I'm doing yes. well. I'm guessing everything. <laughs> really, okay. Very nice. Are you an artist? Do you like to draw? Yes, I like sometimes. Okay. Where are you from, Ranji? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Another person yeah. from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Have you ever experienced extreme weather? 
Um, well, in Saudi, um, we don't have um, terrible weather here. You know, it's uh, all the time sun, very hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we can say uh, extreme m means mm -hmm. outside the normal. So very very hot temperatures like forty centigrade, forty C. That's extreme. That's not normal for the rest of the world. <laughs> Okay, so we can call that extreme weather. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to Shriko. Hey, Shriko. Yeah, <laughs> I caught you by surprise. Can you, <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you fine now. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for fixing yes. your microphone. Hello? It's... Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Jose, I'm going to talk to Shriko for a minute. I'm going to talk to you next, though, okay? Just hang on. Shriko, where are you from? I'm from Croatia. Croatia. Ah. Yes. Is it uh, cold? Is it cold there now? Well, it's, it, 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 you know, it is winter, but it's not... It's not like uh, in America, you know, we don't have a problem with snow and ah, so okay. on. <laughs> Okay. Have you ever experienced extreme weather? Well, that kind, uh, no, no, that kind of weather, no, because in Croatia we have, uh, let's say, the, 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 in winter or in the summer, it's always like, uh, you know, some regular winter, some regular summer and so on. <clears throat> we don't have extremely high temperatures or we don't have extremely low it? temperatures, you know. Okay. I'm from Croatia. Croatia. Excuse me. I yeah, it's okay. I Where remember is when... Where is Croatia? Croatia yeah. is... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Cro Croatia, okay. Is the, Croatia is the country, uh, let's say our neighbors are Italy, Austria, Hungary, and Ooh. Bosnia. Okay, let me, let me yeah. see. It's, the, it's some, somewhere in the middle of the Europe, you know, the, the oh. other side of Adriatic Sea. Uh, okay. In one side is Italy, in the other I side is Croatia. Oh, okay, thank you so much for your experience. Uh, actually, I thought I had a good idea where it is, but does Croatia have a, um, a, sea, a coast on the Mediterranean or no? Yes, it's, yes. It's yes. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. You're, See, I didn't know either. I, I thought it was Adri landlocked, but I'm Adriatic wrong. Adriatic Sea. Adriatic Sea. Adriatic Sea. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Thanks, Rico. Okay. How come all of you people come from countries with mild weather? What's, <laughs> what's up with that? I, I'm from the United States. I've experienced hurricanes, tornado, snow avalanche, flood. <laughs> wow, okay, interesting. Maybe I'll share some of my experience. But uh, first I want to talk to Jose. Jose. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, teacher. And you? I'm doing very well as well. <laughs> Thanks. Where are, you Where are you from, Jose? Well, I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela, okay. Yeah. Uh, have you ever experienced extreme weather? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, I've been in cold weather, but without snow, mm -hmm. snowing. Yeah. Okay. But very cold. Now, but here in Venezuela. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, everyone can uh, please watch your microphones. We're, I'm trying to listen. We're all trying to listen to Jose. Go ahead, Jose. I'm sorry for the interruption. Oh, yes. I haven't experienced uh, any extreme t uh, temperature, but I've been in very cold uh, weather, but without snowing. So, uh, well, here in Venezuela, we don't have no. Uh, well, we do have what, well, but just in one state. Uh, but Venezuela yeah. is most uh, tropical country. Really, it snows in Venezuela. Yeah, in one state. Really? Yeah. 
I had yeah. no idea. I have no idea too. Yeah, what, but in the, what's that, Sebastian? <laughs> I have no idea too. Yeah, me neither. I'm really <laughs> shocked, actually. Yeah, but it is on the uh, wireless wire wire. wire. Uh, how do you say that thing that you used to go up to the mountain and? Ah, um, well, it could be if it's like a chair. It's called a chairlift, or it could be a gondola. If you go inside a door and you walk in, it's a gondola. Can you can you write the the word, please, teacher? Uh, I'm sorry, Sebastian. Again. Uh, can you can you write the the, the word? Write the word. Oh yeah, sure I can. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, I think I mean the cable weight. Yeah. Cable. Okay. That that could be a tram, or it could be gondola. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know trying to was. write it. For some reason, I can't write. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, tram. Sometimes it's a tram. Usually, if it's square or a gondola, is sometimes round shape. I I don't know why, but. Um, okay, but uh, back, uh, Jose. Doesn't Venezuela get uh, hurricanes? No. You're, we don't no? Have okay, I am learning a lot in this class. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I'm learning about Venezuela and <laughs> Croatia. I'm, I'm getting an education. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm learning a lot. Okay, I had no idea. All right. Um, okay. Uh, before we deal with another aspect, I will just share with you my scariest extreme weather uh, experience. Mm. And that is uh, a tornado. Mm. Do you guys know what a tornado is? Well, yeah. I can imagine. I've just seen it uh, on movies and on the TV. <laughs> Oh, okay. right. Okay, you've seen it in a movie, right? Um, there's I a have couple. I see that in the news. Uh, on okay, or on the yeah. news, sure. Like every every year. Yeah, right. <laughs> because it kills people every year, mm. uh, quite frankly. Well, um, as I said, I've experienced typhoons here in the Philippines mm. and a hurricane, a couple of hurricanes in the United States. Uh, I was in an, a snow avalanche when I was skiing one time, and I've experienced a forest fire, which is also another kind of uh, uh, ecological event. You know, we can we're talking about extreme weather, but we can talk about other natural events like hurricane. Uh, I'm sorry, like earthquakes. Yeah. 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 Was, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, are What's that? In Japan was it had a earthquake. Yeah, actually, Japan had an enormous, yeah, enormous earthquake. Enormous. What's yeah. enormous mean? Ah, oh, okay, enormous. Really big. <laughs> <laughs> Really big is really enormous. Big. Okay. Yeah. Extra, extra big, enormous. Mm, exactly. I'm experienced. You have. Yeah, All right. Of course. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little about it? I can talk about tornadoes later. What was your experience with the giant, enormous earth earthquake in Japan? Uh, I was on. Um, I don't know if you all guys you know, but um, eh? March 11 disaster. Do you know that one big one, recent I, big one? I, and, I think that's uh, what Sebastian's talking that, about. That that epicenter was uh, more north of Japan, but mm -hmm. and I was in Tokyo that at that time, mm -hmm. but I felt. Um, 
Anomus, Anomus, <laughs> Quakes. <laughs> um, it was my, I was middle of my work and I couldn't back to home because um, train was stopping at the time. Um, train, uh, not you. Know. Oh, what's the word for it? The, the train or the, the subway train, was stopped? Train and subway. All, all oh. of train and subway was stopped for three days or so. And so ah. many of Japanese people couldn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> if we're talking about in general, we can say public transportation. Transportation, yes. Yeah, all, all public transportation was stopped or at a yes. halt. Yeah, right. Uh, it must have been very scary, actually. Yes, I, it was. I imagine. It was the uh, first experience. Yeah. I have also been in an earthquake, but not nearly as dramatic or enormous as that. Um, Has anybody else in the class experienced an earthquake before? Anybody in, in Croatia, okay. in Venezuela, anywhere? No, I haven't. I, I have just experienced a tiny earthquake. How do you say that? Shaking... Uh, Little shakings. Ah, uh, little shakings. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, there is a word for that. Um, we call those tremors. 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 Close to, you know, if you think about the word trembling, if you're scared, you tremble, you shake a little. Trembling. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Similar. Similar. A tremor, a little shaking. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. Actually, in the in the Philippines, four or five times since I've lived here, I've lived here about seven years, I've woken up at night be and I'm dreaming that someone is shaking my bed. That's what it, and I wake up and I, I, I think there's a, a burglar in my house shaking my bed. <laughs> Weird. Very strange way to wake up. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when we are sleeping, we feel like uh, it's the dream, or or something happened with the dream. <laughs> it changes, or something like that. When something when something happens. It, yeah. Exactly. It it be, it's part of your dream, and then you wake up and you know it's real. That's a very very strange feeling. You know. <laughs> really weird. Actually, I had a weird dream the other night. This is totally off topic, but. Since you brought it up, I had it. I was sleeping like this, all right. I and I dreamed that I reached into behind a door and someone grabbed my hand, but actually in in real <laughs> life I was holding my own hand, and, and it scared me, and I, and I screamed. <laughs> I screamed like a little girl, and I woke up my wife, and she. And, and she laughed at me, just like you're doing now. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah. It, it was kind of silly, but anyway. Um, okay. I, I, just because I have to tell you, uh, I want to share my experience with the tornado. It is, you've seen it in movies. You've seen news reports. You have no idea what it's like until you actually experience it one. First of all, what you don't know or what I had no idea, number one, it is loud. It is unbelievably loud. It sounds like your head is right next to the train track and the train is going right mm -hmm. past your head. You, you couldn't hear. If you were screaming and you were this far from my ear, I could not hear you. It is mm -hmm. unconscionably, unbelievably loud. Second, if you see the movies, it always looks like the wind is coming from one direction, you know, blowing your hair back. It's all blowing this way. Like a hurricane or typhoon, the wind all comes one direction. Tornado, no. The wind is actually coming from every possible angle up your nose, in your mouth, in your eyes, in your ears, up your pant leg into your shirt. Unbelievable. Wow. Mm. Third, 
you always you think of a tornado, so you think about uh, a cow being lifted from a field, mm -hmm. or a car, or the roof of a house coming off. Mm -hmm. Really? There's eight billion tiny little rocks and pieces of dirt that are flying oh. up your nose, in your eye, in your ear. Oh. I had dirt and sand in every, all in my hair, in my, packed in my ears. Ugh. It was horrible. Oh. Um, and it's, and fourth and finally, uh, it is scary. It's mm. really scary. <laughs> it is scary because you have absolutely no control. You don't know where it's going, and there's mm. really nothing you can do. I was driving in, on a highway, mm. so I did not have a shelter. So mm. I just had to, I crawled under an overpass. That's a bridge that goes over the highway. Mm. I crawled under there and curled up into a ball, made myself as small as possible, and man, it, it was scary. As mm -hmm. I said, I've been in an avalanche. I've been in car accidents. I ski, and I love to ski like a crazy person. So I've had huge crashes, broken <laughs> bones, and everything. And the tornado was the scariest thing I have ever experienced. You broken bone? Broken bones? Oh yeah, oh. I've broken a few bones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. it's not as bad as it sounds. Have you ever, actually, I, I know this is off topic, but still talking about personal experiences, have you ever broken a bone or had stitches, you know, when they, when they use a needle and thread have, or had surgery? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a major injury? Let, let's, personal experience. Let's talk about that. Sebastian? Have you ever been hurt really bad, broken a when, bone, or when you when you talk about mi Miriam, it's like uh, when you have a accident. Yeah, yes, yeah, like an accident. Yeah. Oh no, well, I, I I have never been in an accident. Okay, you're lucky. Fortunately. <laughs> yeah. I've been in many. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's my lifestyle. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you like to jump off a cliff for fun, you, you know you're bound to have some accidents. But okay. Maybe maybe when when sometimes some when I I was um um oh I don't know how to say that how oh, um. Mm, to... I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you get lost? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't injure yourself, Sebastian. Don't injure yourself, okay? Be safe. Yes, no. Let's, yes. let's all be safe here at Verbling, okay? I don't want any injuries, no broken I bones. Yes, I am a lucky man. You are a lucky man, I agree. <laughs> Shriko. Hi. Is, is that your... Yeah. Is that your child? Is that your son there? Yeah, it's my it's my son, Martin. Oh wow, nice. Very cool. Hey everybody, wave. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, okay, Good wave. Boy. Wave Sebastian. Wave. Okay, all right. Sweet okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Drink <laughs> up. <laughs> what? what? He's gonna fall off your lap. He's gonna get an injury. Okay. <laughs> No, no, no. I, ju I just, I just want him, you know, to to learn some English. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Sure. Well, hopefully it's not too violent. Hopefully this is a uh, parental guidance no. class. No, no, no. You, you are cool, man, and everybody <laughs> in the class. Yeah, it, we do. We do have a specially nice class today. Thanks. It, well, you. Well, anyway. So, Shreko, have you ever? Had a bad accident or injured? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I, when I was when I was in in a high school, uh, I was 15 years old and uh, I was completely drunk. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, I I drive the car without a driver license and uh, I hit the tree <laughs> and oh, <no>. uh, <laughs> I broke I broke my I broke I broke my uh, 
a, a bone. Uh, um, which bone? You know, a which bone? I don't know how to say in English. Uh, the bone which connect uh, your 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 leg with with your. Uh, I will I will show you. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> Wait. This, keep your keep your clothes on. Keep your clothes on. Okay. Okay. Wait. Ah, that, okay. Well, all right. Here you go. That's your so pelvis. When, it's called your pelvis. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Man, that's right. Yeah. Your right. pelvis. Oh, and I was, I was, I was two months in in bed. You know, without uh, going out of the bed. <laughs> oh. It was awful. <laughs> yeah, that's but I, that's a bad punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stupid. I was young. I was stupid. And <laughs> Yeah, I won't repeat. I won't repeat such a thing any 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 time in my life again. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Well, you learned your lesson. That's. Yeah. We all make true. mistakes. We're all human. As long as we learn from it, it's it's a good thing. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. What I think. All right. Anyway. Uh, I I just wanna I just wanna you know by 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 the way if you you are talking about uh, all all those things about weather, yeah, and uh, I think that that because of in America you know the the moving of uh, weather of the world uh, from uh. from uh, from north goes in one way to across the America and in another way across the Europe so because of that the Europe doesn't have uh, such such a weather you know like typhoons and everything like you have in America right Those can you say something about it yes I can and I just typed in uh, well it's actually two words but it, one meaning uh, jet stream with a jet stream are the higher High level, uh, heavy, heavy winds, very high level. They usually follow uh, a normal path. They vary slightly, especially with the seasons. But the jet streams tend to go from west to east and they kind of bend up and down. But they usually follow a, a generally the same path um, and they drive the weather. And you're you're absolutely right. The problem is the United States has one. Okay, if my hand up here is Canada, we have one that zips down from Canada to the Great Lakes, and we have another one that's down here by uh, like Mexico that comes up. So the problem is these two jet streams tend to collide right in the middle of America. And they may collide up here or collide down here, but it causes a lot of extreme weather conditions. You're absolutely correct, actually. Um, that's what happens a lot. Actually, with the storm in the northeast, one came up the coast, okay, if my screen is United States, one came up like this, and the normal jet stream that comes from Canada, which I just explained, they met. There's another jet stream that goes like bounces off the east coast. So sometimes when those meet, here we go, big blizzard right here. Yeah, that's actually a good point. That's what causes a lot of extreme weather is when two weather systems collide. Uh, a high pressure and a low pressure, usually gliding along a, a separate jet stream. So, yeah. Oh, a little scientific there. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> um, can I ask something? Absolutely. Teacher. Always. Um, in America, hurricane have the woman's name. Every, um, you know, hurricane. Hurricane. hurricane has a yeah. um, woman's name. Uh, they just changed that. Really? Yeah. Quite, quite recently, they changed that. Really? They For have men's name? Yes, they can now. Really? This is this is quite new. I think in just the last few years. Like what? Like, like uh, I don't know, Henry. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> like oh, really? Oakley. Katrina. Why is it Katrina? Katrina. Well, Katrina is a boy's name. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Katrina is a girl's name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They used to always be girls' names only. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, your uh, Hirono is actually yes. completely correct. <laughs> used to always be boys' names. I'm, I'm girls' names. Mm -hmm. Hi, boys, girls. <laughs> but now they can be boys' names. 
Yeah. Why, why is that? Changed? Why? Uh, well, we have a child watching Hirono, so I can't actually explain it very well. <laughs> yeah. Joke. Uh, totally kidding. I couldn't understand your joke. Good. Sorry. I'm glad you can't. That's good. It was a horrible joke. Uh, I actually I don't know. In English, we do a lot of that, though. Mm. Um, for example, names of ships. 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 Mm. Boats. Mm. Uh, yachts are. Uh, mm -hmm. You will find that they are always named after women, either. Mm. Neutral things, neutral names are women, but you're never going to find a ship named Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Bob! Yeah, okay. Well, Shreko, do you, I don't know if you're looking at the text box. Shreko says because you women are a bit crazy. Uh, crazier. Well, you should say crazier. What? Than men are. <laughs> I think it's because women are more dangerous. I see. <laughs> I I don't know why, really. Okay. Anyway, oh, hang on. I want to talk to Abdul. Abdul, very good to see you. Hello, good to see you. Yeah, hi. Good to hi. see you again. Hi. Hello, hello. Nice back. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Okay. Uh, Abdul, we're talking about extreme weather. Yeah. Um, well, actually, that's what we were talking about. I'll, I'll give you your choice. We sort of were talking about extreme weather, and then we were talking about times when we got injured, like broken bones mm -hmm. or injury. So yeah. I'll give you your choice. Can you tell us about either extreme weather that you experienced or a bad accident you experienced? I would talk about the extreme weather. Okay. Since I live in Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really cold in here, so sometimes it gets to minus uh, 30 or higher. Like, for instance, last week it went up to 45 below, minus ah. 45. So oh, it was yeah. really, really cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've experienced that before. So yeah. it's hard to move. Your body, actually, you can't, for those of you from, you know, uh, Middle Eastern com countries or, or Colombia, Venezuela, uh, where, where it doesn't really get that cold, y you can't breathe. You you open your door and you yeah. can't breathe yeah. in or out. Your your body functions just stop. <laughs> yeah. I, I have experienced that kind uh, that kind of uh, spilling. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay. yeah. When I went to Argentina, it was very oh cold. yeah. Yeah, Argentina has some mountains there. Cold. Yeah, my mouth was frozen and peeling. Peeling? Oh, you yes. got? Uh, did you get frostbite? Here, let me let me write that. It's in a more good. We got a lot of good vocabulary today. Frostbite. What's that? that? Frostbite. 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 Yeah, that's when usually it's your ears or fingers or toes where the blood doesn't circulate freezes actually mm -hmm. freezes first it turns white then it can turn black well, then it can then it can fall off ah. no. can or it, 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 it there's just like burns there's different degrees all right like first degree burns is just red second degree is blisters third degree is actually burning Frostbite yeah. is the same. You have different degrees. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I have just I have just uh, experienced uh, that my legs, my my fingers cannot move, and my legs. Ah, yeah. Wait, that's what happens when when your extremities get very cold. It's very difficult to move them. They they act, you you freeze. <laughs> you actually kind of get stuck. Um. Yeah, Shreko wants to have a future class about kinds of beer. 
Okay, so yeah. Hirono, uh, Hirono, of course, Jeez. is invited. She'll be our, our guest okay. speaker, actually. We'll, we'll have a guest speaker with Hirono. Uh, what, 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 what are we talking about? I don't know. I would like to have such a fridge there uh, like, like she has. Ah. <laughs> it's not fridge. It's not fridge. It's a vending machine. Vending machine? Yeah. <laughs> really? Fridge. Yeah. Vending machine? Vending machine. Uh, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Beer. Beer. You can buy a beer. Really? What kind yeah. of machine? What kind yeah. of machine is it? I think you have seen vending machines. Vending machines? Well, I've never seen one with beer, quite beer. honestly. Beer. But you can put money in and then you push a button and you get a Coca-Cola, for example. Oh. Throw the machine. But apparently Japan has beer vending machines. Yeah, sometimes, yes. Which I love Japan. I, I love your country. I love, I love Japan again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow. How totally innovative and wonderful. Oh, very cool. Okay. <laughs> now, now I want to move uh, to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Sure. Yeah, you're promoting it. Hey, yeah. Yes. Perhaps, perhaps we can have a class, you know, and... Uh, Cheer everybody, and we can see the 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 different types of beers from all around the world. Ah, oh, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Very good. I like it. All right, rock on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. At the same time, like I had three students do the do this, Shreka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, after your suggestion, like everybody went, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Well, all right. I'm gonna have to put that in my calendar, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson plan done. All right. Okay. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's try to sort of kind of get back on topic. Uh, Facundo, are you there? Yes, Haven't heard? I'm here. Okay. Uh, Facundo, have you ever had uh, a bad accident? Have you ever injured yourself? I have. I had an accident. Mm-hmm. But luckily, I don't. I didn't suffer anything. But I was riding on my bike. I was going so 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 fast. Uh huh. There was there was a car. I, there was a car parked there. The man inside of the car opened the door, and I just hit. <laughs> okay, so he opened the car door, and you hit the car door. Uh, Facundo, yes. you don't seem to have very good luck on your bicycle. I noticed first you got <laughs> caught in the rain, then you hit the car door. <laughs> Maybe you should try walking or something. Yes, I don't know. For that reason, I left it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's not lucky for you. I don't know. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing that story. That was good. Good practice. Good work, guys. Hirono. Yes. Have you ever injured yourself? No, I don't never have big injured or broken my bone. Really? Yes, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Well, well, that's good. I hope you continue to yes. be lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I uh, have fallen uh, down from a bicycle, but it's it's not a big deal. Yeah, just normal. But I haven't right. had an accident before. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, so, well, I think, well, when I was little, I I was playing around or running, and I I broke, I think, I don't know if I broke uh, uh, my uh, my rib. Yeah, rib. Ah. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, but I, I, I never went to the doctor. I didn't go to the doctor, so <laughs> it, it healed by itself. I don't know, it was like... It was like a month or months with yeah. a, a click or something like a click or something weird in my rib. Yeah. Okay. Well, ribs. Uh, here, your chest, oh. your, your ribs, the bones that go like this. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Those are your ribs. Uh, 
Yeah, actually, Jose, there's nothing the doctor can do anyway, because mm -hmm. I, I broke my ribs. I got thrown off a horse, and I landed on a big rock. <laughs> oh. So horse. I... Horse. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see. Right, right. Yeah, yeah he, I playing cowboy. I mm. yeah, I went flying and I landed on a rock. So anyway, Jose, they don't do anything anyway. There's no cast. There's nothing they can put on your ribs. So you just have to nothing. Wait. Maybe you get medicine. You know, painkillers or something. But breaking your ribs is a horrible injury. You know why? Because any time you cough, <coughs> mm. cough, or laugh, <laughs> it really, really hurts. <laughs> it feels yeah. like somebody is punching you in the chest. So your friends, because they're your friends, they mm. will try to make you laugh over and over a lot mm. <laughs> to, to torture yeah. you. At least, right? Am I right? That's what Not my friends. friends did. That's what my friends did when I had broken ribs. They, just tortured me. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, Omar, hello. Omar, are you there? Okay. Who have who has not told me their horrible story? Sebastian, did you tell me about? Oh, you never really had an injury. Okay, well, I guess yeah, we already. Uh, yeah, but I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what time is he there? What time is? Yes. What there. time is there? Oh, here it, where I am. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, good question. It is two more minutes before the end of class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will be two p.m. here. All right. Two in the afternoon. Yeah, actually, uh, it's the weather here. It is sunny and warm, which it always is. It's the Philippines. So it's sunny and hot, and I will probably, in two minutes, I will probably go swimming with my family. We'll probably go to the pool. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Here, right. is, here is at 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, what? Well. <laughs> Everybody's talking. Everybody's wishing me well. Uh, I, uh, I listen to you, too, sure. Uh, oh, hi, Omar. We have, uh, yeah, hi, T-shirt. So I have uh, like an eco, eco or something. You have, <laughs> you have what? Uh, an eco. Echo. Ah. Uh, not echo. Uh, echo, yeah. It's a short uh, I, not a long E. Echo. Uh, oh, you have an echo. echo. Oh, well, yeah, it's not echo. bad now. It's, it's good. Uh, it's okay now. All right, well, uh, we... What, what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, T-shirt. Okay, uh, class is only like one more minute, and then I've got to end the broadcast for YouTube. But Shriko has a question. Well, Peter, how how do you call those things uh, in your nose? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hair. Uh, it was something like turbinates or. Uh, well, I had a surgery about that, but I can't remember. Yeah, it was so swelling uh, turbinates. I don't know. No, no. I have. I don't know what you're. If you're talking about what I have in my nose, it's called hair. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I know. Sorry. That's disgusting, and that's a horrible way to end the class. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to end the broadcast now. Uh, I will hang out for a little while, just uh, if anybody has any questions. Um, but uh, as far as verbling in the in the broadcast for YouTube, bye bye. Thanks for coming. Thank you and for this time, Mokoi. Okay. Uh, you're yeah, very hey. welcome. It was okay. very fun. It was really fun. I agree. I really enjoyed it. All right, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. We're like two.